fuck with you Cause they know I fuck with you I'll first of all start off by taking down these braids i've had them in for it's been less than a week if not a week this is how my hair looks after it's been taken down this is how it looks my natural curls and everything and this is the amount of hair that shed i'll wash my hair now you'll have seen me wash my hair a thousand times so i just skipped that part but today i'll be using this deep conditioner it's by nature's gentle touch and i wouldn't section my hair into four this time i'm just so tired this is how it looks it's yellow and it smells so so good this is my first time using it it contains african shea butter and i will admit like it made my curls pop a bit like it, i saw definition after using this product so i sectioned a little piece out detangled it with my fingers the bosom i used my tangle teaser to detangle then i put in the product a generous amount and then i twisted it up it's kind of thick it feels like lotion yeah it feels like lotion or it feels like whipped shea butter that's what it feels like and it smells fresh the only thing i don't like about it is the bottle it gets messy i don't like the fact that it's in a squeezing lotion bottle like this i would have preferred like a container it got really messy i got the products on my brush on the bottle itself everything was just messy and oily so now i put it on my edges and at the back of my hair as well and i put a top coat because i have high porosity hair and it absorbs a lot of products really quickly this is how bad it was i stained the bottle and my hands and my brush this is the amount of hair that shed and now i'll put spray in a little bit of water in a plastic bag cover my hair with it then cover my hair with a shower cap and lastly i'll cover my hair with a bonnet i'll leave my hair in for like an hour and then rinse it out like I, I got so excited when i saw my curls popping it looks so good my hair feels so moisturized and soft and it was detangled do you guys see this definition like i just loved it so i rinsed it out you guys have seen me rinse out my hair a lot so i just skipped that part i rinsed it out and this is how my hair looks after so now i'm going to section my hair and spray it with my kui leave-in conditioning mist pairing it with the styling cream because i'm about to style my hair right now and then i'll be using my hair wonder grease so i'll lock all that in so that moisture isn't going nowhere <laughs> i do that for each section in that particular order brush my hair out and i'll start weaving now it's time for the weaving part i get so excited when it's time to do my hair first of all i start off by splitting my hair in half like i'm doing for any braids i just cut my um parts my hair in two from one ear to the other ear then i look at the mirror and see if it's equal and if it's as straight as i like it i start parsing i'm going to be doing the illusion braids today because i'll be doing crochet so i'll pre-part my hair like i'm doing um what's it called normal box braids or not less braids so i'll pre-part my hair and section out how i want it to be once i've done two or three rows it's time to define that middle part this takes me like 15 minutes to do i make sure it's really at the center of my forehead when i let my head down i let it down in a middle part and not a side part so this is very important so i tie away 
one half of the hair and i start from the middle because like you all know whenever i'm doing cornrows it's best to start from the middle than start from the side because if you start from the side it won't be as straight as starting from the middle <laughs> so i section out this part and then i tie it up with a rubber band i make sure my rubber bands are really oily really greasy so to avoid a lot of breakage then i do the same with the rest i did six rules on each side once i'm done with that i tie away the ones that i have done and then i start parting i put in the styling cream just to make my hair soft and easy to detangle and then i part like i am doing not less braids just divide it in two so i braid this one down a little bit make sure you're not braiding it too tight because you're going to put the full lock into the braid so make sure it's not too tight so i braid down a few inches maybe like half of my hair not to not to the end then i braid the second one down like three times then i feed in the half braided one and i braid like normal so once i'm done with that one i tuck it behind the puff and then i do the same for the rest and it looks like box braids but it is cornrows so i love this styling cream because it's like how do i explain it it's a KUI styling cream and it feels like your hair is sweating it just feels like your hair is excreting moisture i don't know how to explain it but it just makes your hair like wet and soft and easy to detangle like that's just how it just makes your hair feel so good and this was my first try i have never done this before like i deserve some accolades anyway so as you guys know this is a very clear angle of my hair now i know y'all like it i like it too but now it's as we did anyway as i was saying as i'm doing my corners i prefer to twist the nape of my neck or the back of my hair I just twist it up so it will add less tension to the back of my hair but this time i braided some and then i braided at the beginning and twisted the ends for some
as you can see here i braided some and i twisted some you can do either it really doesn't matter whichever has less tension on your hair i recommend that you do let's not talk about how it's slanted but um this is how it's supposed to look i just did four pieces and for the front i loosened it a bit not too much then i cornrowed the first one then the second one i joined two illusion braids the end i joined them together and cornrowed it into a bigger cornrow because the sides you want it to be thin it all depends on like what how you keep your what your go-to hairstyle is mine i always keep my hairstyles in a bun so that's why i did those four pieces at the back so when it's at only when it's in a bun it won't look like it's you know crochet and the sides i did it thin so when it's in a bun it won't look like it's crochet so i cornrowed these two i bought the first one i only cornrowed one and the end i fed it into the bigger cornrow and the little one of those four pieces i fed it into that corner as well so that's just the pattern that i went to the big cornrow this the previous cornrow i'll fit it into this big cornrow then this little one down i'll fit it into this big cornrow as well your hand is definitely going to get tired but it's all going to look pretty at the end the reason why i chose to do crochet i've never done crochet before in my life <laughs> but the reason why i chose to do crochet is because i didn't want to do braids because i didn't want to you know commit to a hairstyle and i was traveling at this point in time to a really really cold and dry state so i just felt like this protected my hair more than any other hairstyle i would choose so that's why i did this hair For the last one i just like tucked it in the rest if you want it to be more secure you can crochet it into the other cornrow and this is how it looks i'm so proud of myself like this is my first time doing it this is how the hair looks i like it so much but this is not the finished result this is the hard part we're done with the hard part so now i'll just moisturize it by spraying my KUI leave in conditioning mist with the mega growth growth oil on my hair just to keep it moisturized and nice and neat this is the hair that i'll be using it's called rock essence i've never heard of it before and straight out of the pack is very dry so i sprayed um water on it and put in my what's it called soul meat on it just to give it a little more flexibility and to make it easy so just i just crocheted it into my hair and that's that about that there's no two ways about it it is this took like 10 minutes this is the easiest part of this whole vlog it just took like 10 minutes for me to no i won't say 10 minutes let me not say 10 minutes but i think it took 10 minutes it should have taken 10 minutes if not 10 minutes then 30 minutes but this was the easy boy felt like 10 minutes <laughs> this was the easiest part of the whole hairstyle each pack contained like 27 or is it 26 single um full lock it's just one odd number it's not up to 30. i used two packs in total at first i start with the front so in case it finishes i don't know i'm done with the front and then i did the back you know those four ones at the back and then i just randomly put it in them big corners i just those random and then that's that's about that this is the finished hairstyle this is how it looks at the back but it's going to be in a ponytail so not so much at the back <laughs> so this is how it looks i'm so proud of myself it's done it's very long and i can keep this in for a couple months